How would I describe Burik? It's like a delicacy almost. It's simple, but it's still something that's cherished and you don't make it as often as you would make, for example, meat and veggies dish. Like it's, it's you know, when family's coming over, when you have friends coming over. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. These are for you. Thanks. Oh, I'm walking away. I love your hat, dude. Thank you. I, I never wear it. Can you put it down a little bit? Flowers. Do you have scissors? Yes. <laughs> Do I look like a gardener to you? <laughs> because I live with a Canadian now, Donovan. Um, he's not very. He's not used to Turkish food, so I like mix it up for him. So. We have Turkish food a couple of times a week and then we have normal Canadian food a couple of times a week and things so it just goes back and forth. What is Canadian food? <laughs> Canadian food is what is not Turkish food. <laughs> Cookies to Laura. I would not follow my directions. <laughs> Bad choice. Literally when I was crossing the border into Canada in the Niagara Falls, like from the States to the to Canada. On the tax ride, my mom put her shoulder like hand on arm on my shoulder and said, by the way, you're Kurdish. And I was like, I'm sorry, not a terrorist, where does this come from? I can't consider myself Kurdish because I don't even consider myself Turkish. So it's really hard for me to distinguish exactly or how I would be Kurdish. I don't speak Kurdish. So language doesn't bound me. I know nothing about I didn't I knew nothing about the Kurds until I came to Canada and started reading books about them. I consider myself a Canadian because Canadians are so welcoming in the sense of who is a Canadian. Everybody's a Canadian who is a Canadian citizen. Um, there is no identifying factors other than the fact that you're a Canadian. Like there's no like if you don't do curling, you're not a Canadian. If you don't like skating or hockey, you're not Canadian. So, feta cheese. So, you're not really supposed to use too much cheese in the pastry. It's supposed to be more like pastry than cheese, but hey, this is like my, this was my fantasy move when I was growing up as a kid. So the cheesier it is, the better it is. So my friends get treated, and my baby gets treated. There is not enough cheese in here. Look at all that green. You should see as much white as green. I'm sorry for all the people in our friends group that are on a diet. This is not a day for a diet. <laughs> this is your cheat day. Let's try this again. Yeah, I think this is about the right ratio. Did I tell you what I said to my family when we were moving from uh, Woodstock, Ontario to Edmonton? That was the last place in Ontario that I lived before moving to Edmonton in 2008. I said, never again, if I go to Edmonton, never again am I moving doesn't matter if you go back to Turkey, doesn't matter if you move to Calgary, I am not leaving Edmonton. Hey, guess what? The first person to move out of the house, this girl, with a realtor guy who was going to be moving often. That happened, and my mom still teases me for it. I don't really want to get involved in the Ottawa Turkish Kurdish community, to be honest with you. Why is that? Um, because usually I end up translating or interpreting for them or doing favors for them, basically, which is not a problem. I've done that like majority of my life, but 
I just, I don't like the, the community is very in each other's businesses. So I don't really need the, the gossip and the drama basically. So I stay away from it. I don't tell anybody that I'm Turkish. I did do a lot, a lot though. Like I'm, I'm really proud that I, I, I went and got these women to go to school and some of them have their own businesses. Some of them have graduated from their programs and are working, you know, like that's great. But they've kind of abandoned the culture in a way and again I don't really know what I'm saying what I mean by culture but I really would wanted would have wanted the, the people that were left behind and like because we used to talk about these things like and and like they were supposed to do a few things so that the children can like read books in either English or Turkish or Kurdish whatever they're they were more comfortable with and like learn about their own past like their own history and stuff like that and none of that really took place that will be first of our guests arriving you're gonna put that in there no actually we're gonna do it gradually that's why i made this ready hey welcome Come on in. Sorry? How's it going? Good. How's it going with you? It's cold. It is windy, isn't it? Like, I feel like I'm handling like historic documents now, like <laughs> opening the pages of like the old the Bible or something. <laughs> Jan, can I get you anything else? Oh, uh, no, I'm good. So when we're placing the brick, we try to make sure that the top oh, must be fine. Can you answer? Oh, Just a little bit of this mixture. Oh, that. Mm -hmm. uh, that's fine. Can you actually make more coffee, please? Um, I think I can get a recipe. Welcome. Oh, wow. I haven't seen you in so long. Let me take a look at you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, and then we kind of like layered the, the, the cheese and the parsley and stuff. And then to keep it together, we're going to put pieces of burrick that we cut off like this. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like exactly right. Like, hi, you got it. How's Kaylee? Kaylee! Uh, Hello! Welcome! How are you? And we're going to... But it's cooler to think that you can It's cooler to think that you can Because MIT is rather very, very limited. She's also like <laughs> so now what? Now I'm going to enjoy my coffee. And <laughs> so what does it mean for you to be able to make these for your friends? Oh man, I'm really not making them for you guys. I'm making them for myself. I just don't want to eat them all by myself. And yes, it makes me happy that you guys like the food that I make. It does make me super happy, but I'm not really making it for you guys. It's for very selfish reasons. I just being honest. Burik is he can't you can't translate it. It's not a cheese pie. It's not a cheese pastry. It's Burik. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, and uh, they said they like did like a bunch of studies on things like. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm so happy about this, you guys. I've been making this food since like. When did you come here? Like 10:30. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so happy too because I've been hungry since 10:30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, and with that. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Yes, thanks Hi. So much. Hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Thank you. All right. So, yeah, that was a successful event. 